I am going to show you how to split test an email opt-in form on your website using a plugin called Bloom. What's up everybody, Paul Hickey here with Data Driven Design. Welcome to the WordPress show. I am gonna show you how to split test an email opt-in form on your website using a plugin called Bloom. Split testing is also known as A-B testing, but sometimes we call it split testing because uh, you can have actually more than just an A and B option. So let me first show you the front end of this opt-in that we're gonna create variants for using Bloom. Right now this website, Kirsty Ennis Foundation, has an email opt-in. As you scroll down the page and experience the site, you get this message right here for the email sign-up. So let me show you the back end of WordPress in Kirsty's site here. And we have a plugin installed called Bloom by Elegant Themes. Very nice plugin. There's many different ways to build these pop-ups, but Bloom has a built-in way to split test them. So over on the left-hand side of WordPress here, we're going to click Bloom, and we're going to go over to the email sign-up form, and you can see that uh, it's got quite a few impressions and a 1.4% conversion rate, which is not bad. But if we hover over this icon, it says A-B testing. We can click it, and it says Add Variant. So it's really, really nice. All we need to do is make any slight change that we want to A-B test. So again, over here, you saw that we had we have just the logo, first name, last name, email, and we've got the button color from the theme. We could create a variant that adds text to the opt-in. So um, for example, um, get updates straight to your inbox, join our mailing list to receive the latest news and updates from our team with the image settings. We could have a variant um, that has no image. And so then we would just see the text. So if we do that and we save it, now 50% of the time the users come to the website, they're gonna see this logo. And 50% of the time they're gonna see the text that says, get updates straight to your inbox. And then we're gonna have the data right here around conversions and conversion rate. And over time, they should have the same impressions. So it's a very, very useful tool to use data to drive decision-making on your website. And I would say over the course of maybe two to three months, we will have a winner, and then we can just make the winner the actual original and not have the variants and we can A-B test other things about the pop-up if we want to. Now you can also use this pop-up in Bloom to do other things like have people book a time with you. You can have it send people to a resource download that you might want them to check out and you can do A-B testing just like I showed you for any of those things. It's super easy. Thanks for watching the WordPress show. For more free WordPress tips, go to thewordpressshow.com or datadriven.design. And to do business with me, email me directly at paul at datadriven.design. Thanks and have a great day.